Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to connect Nest thermostat or any low voltage smart thermostat to high voltage load. We can use these thermostats to power baseboard heaters, boilers or any kind of heaters. So here's how it works. So what we will need, we will need uh, any smart thermostat, I'm using Nest E. Uh, in the base we will just connect two wires R and W1. So let's attach thermostat. All right. So next step, we will need transformer. In this transformer for input we have four wires. Uh, color code is white is a common uh, uh, common input black is for 120 volts this is what I'm going to use red and orange is for 208 240 volts uh, I'm not going to use it so I just cut it and uh, uh, isolate this then we'll use relay so relay has uh, uh, on the left side uh, here it, it has low voltage as well as a high voltage input. That means we can close this relay with uh, 24 volts AC or DC or 120 volts. I'm gonna use 24 volts because our thermostat will send this signal. It's low voltage, so I'm, I don't need white black cable. Uh, white black cable. So this one, and um, for. Uh, high voltage side uh, relay has two states first is when relay is not energized it will connect yellow and blue wire when relay is not energized this is not what we need so we don't need blue wire as well uh, and uh, we need orange when we will send power on a coil it will connect yellow and orange so i'm going to open this um, relay and uh, just cut those two wires Now let's connect our transformer. Double check this is not energized right now. So this is my main input, uh, it's off. So I'm just connecting transformer. Now for 24 volts, what we need to do is um, we'll connect thermostat to one wire. Now we'll take our relay. Um, we have two thick wires for high load. It's uh, it can handle 20 amps. This is what we need for baseboards or for boilers. And this is lower side, so we, we see thinner uh, wires. So one wire we connecting with um, our transformer. Okay, and second wire we connecting with our thermostat. So right now our thermostat is going to be connected in series. All right. So that means um, here is our transformer. One power is going to thermostat, and second power from transformer is going to relay. So thermostat will go through coil. Uh, Will, will go through coil and power itself and when we need to send power it, it's gonna short these contacts and energize our relay so let's turn power on and see how it works all right so now we have uh, power connected and you can see it's uh, loading uh, it's indicating that right now it's closed so when I set heating to lower temperature that we have right now it's power off and now it's power on so what's happening if uh, if we take multimeter and multimeter right now is going to signal if we have short uh, if our cables connected so if we connect multimeter to first input and the second 
for, for first wire and second wire in our relay. Okay, so right now it's not, it's not connected, but when I close, see at this point we have connection. All right, so next step is the last step. What we need to do, I have this uh, dummy load. Uh, so now we need to connect this uh, through our relay. Let me turn off input. And the way how I'm going to connect this is um, hot wire, hot wire uh, is going to be sent through relay and neutral is going to be connected to my load. So in this case, if a relay is not energized, I will not have any power here in outlet. So I, if I touch it, it's not going to shock me. It's only going to be powered if relay is on. So let's connect white wire, neutral wire here. All right. And so for, for our relay, it doesn't matter which cable goes where, but one of the cable will go to hot wire. Okay, and second cable is gonna be connected with my load. Last step, we need to connect our ground. All right, so at this point, I'm going to connect this light bulb. So thermostat is below, so we're not calling for heat. So let me connect our input again to 110 volts. All right, so now when I turn temperature, it will energize our load. Okay, so here's how it works. Shutting down power. The next step, what I'm going to do is uh, on a Home Depot. Uh, I've got this uh, two inches by oh, four inches by four inches, four by four by four box. I um, drilled two holes, input output, and now I'm going to put all of this stuff, uh, relay and transformer, inside this box. very important this is just demo version when uh, I'm going to install this uh, in a place where it's going to be installed I will cut all wires and I will separate here all high voltage and low voltage so by any chance wires cannot low voltage wires cannot touch any hot any high load wires okay this is just demo to show how it works so it's very important so last step, we can close this box. All right. So we have our thermostat, which is complaining that we don't have power. But as soon as I will turn on power. All right, so thermostat see that wires power and heat is connected. So now we can test it. If you found this video useful, please hit a like and I will see you later.